Right, so here's one of my laptops. This right here is a Lenovo ThinkPad T430, but I just can't decide what operating system I want to install. So, hmm, I install this one way too often. We won't be using that. Same can be said about Windows 7. We won't be using that. Hold on a minute, what's this? Windows Vienna, huh? Well, let's install this on the ThinkPad T430 then. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. As you've gathered from the short little intro there, we're going to be installing Windows Vienna. That's right, oh, from a copy of Windows Vienna. I've literally burnt the Windows Vienna ISO to this DVD right here. So we're gonna be installing it off of that instead of using a USB. The only downside to using a disc is that it's gonna be so much slower. Like seriously, it's quite a bit slower. The write speeds are much different and much slower as well. So taking a look at the Windows Vienna packaging, let's see what we've got here. So taking a look at the back, it says that Windows Vienna Ultimate is a custom Windows Vista visual style designed and created by Vista, aka me. It features custom icons, sample pictures, wallpapers, shell, theme, gadgets, media center, media player, start menu, and sound schemes. Just like Windows Vista, Windows Vienna includes all these set applications here. And here's a nice little preview of Windows Vienna with a fixed weather gadget, that's right. And here's some more writing down here. Windows Vienna extras can be downloaded at that Vista's download site. However, extended kernel by Win32 on MSFN may be required. And that is because my power doesn't support sites made by Wix anymore, which is unfortunately because Wix is utter garbage. So they end support for older browsers much earlier than others. So yeah, it's kind of a disappointment really. Should you wish to download Windows Vienna Extras without the use of the download site, which can be unreliable at times, unreliable is an understatement. The understatement of the year, in fact, it's very unreliable. If you're using underpowered hardware, it's garbage, and I'm trying to look for a fix for that. Alternate links will be provided on the YT channel, youtube.com slash c slash vista6002, which is my YouTube channel. And here's the domain of the Windows Vienna Update Center just right here. So yeah. All right, so let's have a look at the side. As you can see, it says Windows Vienna Ultimate, like Windows Vista Ultimate on the Vista copy. So let's take a look what we have inside. So here's a disc. I plan to print an image on that disc at some point, but for now it's gonna remain blank. This is a printable disc where you can place an image on it. And yeah, that's, that's about it really. That's all the box has to offer besides the outside casing and the disc that's inside. All right, so now let's get to installing Windows Vienna on this laptop. So what we're gonna do first is power on the laptop. Eject the disk drive. Press the Think Vantage button. And pop out the disk. Slot it in here. And then close the box. So right, let's just press enter here. Press F12, go into the temporary start device options. And then boot off the DVD drive. All right, so now that everything's all loaded up, it's time we install Windows Vienna. That's if I can select my language first. And now we just press install now. And now we just wait for everything else to load up. It's now loading all the necessary files and everything. And now we'll skip the product key. And for those of you who are wondering, Windows Vienna uses Windows Vista product keys because Windows Vienna is based off of Vista. So if you want to activate Windows Vienna, I suggest that you use Windows Vista product keys because yes, like I said, it is literally just Windows Vista with a different visual style. It even says it on the box here, look, Windows Vista with an alternative visual style. That's if it will focus. There we go, Mac autofocus is rubbish. Here look, Windows Vista with an alternative visual style. It even says it on the box. So now we're gonna install Windows Vienna once the camera will focus and Oh. oh yes, I already have a copy of Windows on here, so I'm just gonna delete that. All right, so once that's formatted, we're gonna go ahead and select next, just like any other Windows installation medium. By the way, guys, the hard drive in this computer is not very good. It's the only hard drive I had spare lying around. It's a dying Seagate hard drive, one of the ultra thin ones, the Rosewood ones, I think, which are notorious for being unreliable and failing. So yeah, once Windows Vienna has installed and reached the out-of-box experience, I'll see you guys then. 
Right, so here we are at the Windows Vienna out of box experience. So now I'm just gonna create a user account. So I'm just gonna call it Vienna for the purpose of this video because we are installing Windows Vienna, of course. And I'm gonna select my pet cat as my profile picture. Yeah, by the way, that is my pet cat. It's called Rocky. I've mentioned this in one of my other videos, which was my Windows Vienna is complete video. So now I'm just gonna click next, next again. Click ask me later. Next again, and start where it says thank you, which is very nice. All right, so now Windows Vienna is going to assess the computer's performance. As you can see, there's a shameless plug of my YouTube channel showing the YouTube channel link and all that. And after that, it's gonna tell you guys about my other themes, such as Windows, well, Windows Scenic is now dead. Windows Scenic is now a Windows Vienna theme now due to the, the huge unpopularity of it. And here's just like a little brief Windows Vienna, like a what is kind of thing. It just says what Windows Vienna is and what it can do in very brief paragraph. And again, it's just kind of looping around three different slides. I was thinking of adding more slides, but I just, I didn't really know what, I didn't really know what else to add besides like what is Windows Vienna, my YouTube channel and my other themes, you know, so you guys can check them out as well. All right, so here we are at the desktop. No drivers have been installed yet, but that is where this comes in. So I'm just gonna plug this into the computer. Oh, oops, there we go. Now we wait for that to, there we go. That was, that, that was very quick. All right, so now I'm just gonna drag and drop these two drivers here, which I have which are the graphics drivers and the Wi-Fi drivers. And also I'm gonna copy over this browser as well because it's a modified version of 360 Chrome without all the weird stuff I don't like about it, such as the spyware and all that. I believe that 360 Chrome, the Chinese version is just very, I wouldn't trust it personally. I don't know about you guys, but I personally wouldn't trust it. it there's something that just feels off about it. It just feels kind of bad in a sense of like, it's insecure and all that. So I wouldn't use 360 EE modified, which is what I have right here. So I'm just gonna install these drivers real quick. Firstly, I'm gonna install the graphics driver because everyone, that's everyone's favorite driver, the graphics driver. Everyone wants to use the Aero UI when they're installing Windows Vista, or Windows 7, or Windows Vienna in this case, because like Windows 7, like, because like Windows 7 and Vista, Windows Vienna has Aero. We'll just click next, yes, and all that. And I'll be back once all the drivers have installed. All right, so here we are on the desktop. We've installed all the drivers. So all the browsers and everything have been installed. So what I've made, I've, I've made a change here. I think you guys have noticed that I've changed it from my download site to my YouTube channel because it doesn't display on my power anymore, which I, I'm not a big fan of, because like I mentioned earlier in the video, Wix is just garbage and decides to end support for older browsers very quickly, which sucks. But anyway, I'm just gonna make MyPal my default browser real quick so I can show you what it does, even though I probably have done in the past. So I'm just gonna go to options. I'm gonna make MyPal my default browser. There we go. I'm gonna disable that. So anyway, where were we? So. What we're going to do is that, well, what I was going to do is that I was going to just click here. And as you can see, I've changed this to be my YouTube channel. So when I click learn more online here, it should theoretically open up my YouTube channel. Yeah, there we go. So you can still see like Windows Vienna videos and stuff, which will have links in them and all that. So yeah, I thought that was just a pretty neat little thing I could add to Windows Vienna. And I quite like it. I think it's quite nice because I replaced Windows Live Messenger, which is long dead. So I thought I would replace it with my YouTube channel link. So now that we've got that over and done with, I just want to show you that Windows of Vienna now comes built in with themes. You know, like the Cyan theme and all that. Windows of Vienna now comes with those themes built in. So if you were to download the ISO, all these themes will be installed right out of the box. So here we have the classic Vienna theme with all the classic Vienna sounds. Let me just show you those real quick. There you go, it has all the classic Vienna sounds. And here's Windows Cyan, formerly Windows Jonah, 
but I thought that Windows Cyan would be a better name. So yeah, this is Windows Cyan right here. And this is Windows Dunes, which is a very old theme. I made both of these themes way back in 2019. So yeah, here's Windows Dunes. Well, yeah, that's updated. Look, as you can see, it matches the color and everything. Yeah, this is the background. All right, what's the next theme we have? The next theme is Windows Indigo, which I made in 2020. As you can see, this is Windows Indigo. And if we were to just go onto this window, as you can see, look, the applet sidebar has changed to match the theme. And the last theme I made for Windows Vienna is Windows Sapphire, as you can see here, look, which also has a different theme and all that with a different background, different start button color and all that. And also another thing that I've done, hold on, let me just, yeah, there we go. Is it with the gadgets? Well, what should I, I don't, I didn't really need to open that because yeah, I've modified the clock gadget to have the colors of the themes. So for example, yeah, look, this is Windows Cyan. This is Windows Indigo. This is Windows Dunes and this is Windows Sapphire. So I'm just going to select that clock to, to match Windows Sapphire. And there you go, look. So yeah, I thought I would bundle those themes with the operating system itself because having them as a separate download kind of just makes Windows Vienna a bit empty. But now since they're built into the operating system, it makes it much more of just a Windows Vista theme. So now I'm going to go back to themes and reapply the standard Windows Vienna theme. Here we go, look. So yeah, oh look, someone, we've got company. Oh. Come on, don't be shy. Here we've got company, look. This little guy thought it was a good idea. Oh, there he goes, he just fell on the floor. Hope he's all right. Well, I mean, he's still walking, so yeah. So anyway, where were we? I'm experimenting with updates at the moment with Windows Vienna. Because as you can see, if I were to just show you orfui.dll, which is responsible for the logon, like the logon theme and all that. As you can see, his buttons are still red, as you can see here. I forgot to change those, unfortunately, but the good news is I've made an update for that, which I have yet to release. Oh, let me just change this clock back to the Windows Vienna one. There we go. As I was saying, here's a little update here. So what it does, it has like a command script, which will replace the, re the file responsible. And if I were to show you this real quick, again, these buttons here, well, not the buttons, but these arrows are green, which is the incorrect color. It does not match the Windows Vienna scheme so what i've done to counter this is that i've created this update called windows vienna update one so what you got to do is run this batch file as administrator well it's not a batch file it's a command script a very similar and what you do is that you just press any key to continue and there we go after you've done that you just simply restart your computer just like that and i'll be back once the computer is restarted Right, so after installing that update, you can now see that these buttons here are indeed purple. So yeah, these buttons are now purple, which now matches the Windows Vienna color scheme. And not only that, if I just click Control Alt Delete real quick, these buttons are now purple as well, which now matches Windows Vienna's color scheme. So yeah, look, that's just an update which just improves Windows Vienna's theme a little more because there were some omissions that I've the final version of Windows Vienna did actually have a few omissions, such as the buttons being a diff the wrong colour for Windows Vienna scheme and all that. But apart from that, yeah, Windows Vienna was pretty much complete at that point. It's just that, like, there are only very minor things missing, just like that. And not only that, I've created an Ultimate Extras pack for Windows Vienna, which is currently in beta. And let me just show you that real quick. Firstly, I'm going to open the 360 Chrome here, which is the one, this is a custom version of 360 Chrome, which has all the spyware and all that weird stuff taken out of it. Right, are we going to work? Let's see. Yes, we are. All right, so what I'm going to do first, this is what I do every time I use 360 Chrome. I just get rid of all this stuff I don't want. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll just get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of the avatar, get rid of the status bar. And yeah, yeah, I don't want any of this rubbish. So what I'm going to do is go to Vistas, not this, yeah, v Vistas download site. So there we go. Now we just wait for that to load. And currently it's having problems with the 
encryption because TLS, you know, or what, TLS 1.2 and TLS 1.3 are not installed yet. But I have a fix for that, which is right here on my site actually. So let me just show you how that's done. There should be a file here called roots update, whatever it's called. I think it's called that. And yeah, this browser has a really dumb download complete sound. I really hate it. It's really irritating. So now what you do is you just extract these files, run this as administrator. Yep. That's all you have to do really. And then once you've done that, just restart your browser. Yeah, restart your browser and it should fix it all, or at least it does for me. So yeah, so now we're just going to go back to Windows Vienna and now we're going to download the Ultimate Extras Beta, which is hosted here on Google Drive. And yeah, since you guys had so many problems with Ice Drive, with my quota being exceeded and all that, I decided to re-host the um, files back on Google Drive because that's the place where I have the least amount of issues. So now we're just going to wait for the Windows Vienna Ultimate Extras to download and I'll be back once they've downloaded. All right, so now that I've downloaded the Windows Vienna Ultimate Extras, we'll just wait for the zip file to extract, which is 490 megabytes. Most of that is the wallpapers that I have included and I've included a lot of wallpapers. And this is in beta, so it's incomplete. There will be more extras to come in the final release of this little extras pack. So now we're just gonna have a look at it once it's finished extracting. So. Let me just drag and drop this onto the desktop real quickly. There we go. Click exit out of these windows here. And as you can see, I've been heavily inspired by the Windows XP Delta Extras Pack, which Pastel Pastelia or Pastelia Pinky made. Yeah, let's just say I got very inspired by it. So I've even gone as far as to credit Pastelia Pinky for the original batch file and all that, because Pastelia Pinky was the original creator of this and it was their idea to create this pack so yeah the folder is called altex which is prefix of ultimate extras so what we're going to do is that we're going to run this batch file here as administrator and as you can see very similar to pastelia pinky's one it shows a batch file well it shows a cmd with a different color background and different color text so well, let me just read it out real quick. It says Windows Vienna Ultimate Extras Beta. Welcome to the Windows Vienna Ultimate Extras. This pack will install custom wallpapers, themes, gadgets, and more. After installing the Dream Scene Activator, you must log off in order to. Well, you must. Yeah, you must log off in order for the Dream Scene to display correctly. Do you wish to install? Well, obviously, we're going to be saying yes to that. As you can see, it's installing all the Ultimate Extras here. Those are the backgrounds. As you can see, there's quite a lot of backgrounds. Yeah, look, more, yeah, and now it's doing all the, yep, it's done all the sounds and everything, and now it's copying over the dream scene files, and yes, I've included more dream scene files, that's right, I've added more dream scene files than there were already. So now that it's finished, it's going to display the dream scene activator on the desktop, so we're just going to run that as administrator, and also, you know that dream scene.dll file here, that is entirely optional, it just shows the the um what's it called the windows vienna icon on the dream scene so what we're going to do here is that we're going to click on all you have to do is click there and it, it should work and it doesn't even matter if the program stops responding if it does this look if it stops responding you can just like exit out of the program and just click close the program and after that you're going to want to log off Yeah, once you've logged off, you just obviously log back on again, just like that. All right, so now <clears throat> here's like a little thing I've wrote. Here's like a little notepad or well, a text file saying, thanks for installing the Windows Vienna Ultimate Extras Beta, what's been installed. As you can see, dream scenes, wallpapers, themes, screensavers, gadgets, and user tiles. Please enjoy. Vista, yep. Hope you guys enjoy this. For those of you who have tried it out already, so the reason why I've included a shortcut here is that in order for the dream, the Windows Dream Scene content thing to appear here. Oh, sometimes, you know, sometimes it automatically has the Windows Dream Scene content thing here. Oh yeah, I think I know why it did that, because if you click on this shortcut, it should automatically add an entry here, like an entry where it says 
Windows Dream Scene content. Let me show you these Dream Scenes real quick. Here's a new one I've added. It's just like an Aurora. Here's also a new one I've added. I took this pretty recently. Let me just show you guys this. It's basically a bee collecting nectar from flowers. And here's a Windows XP one. And the reason why I've added a Windows XP dream scene is because I've included a Windows XP theme. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. And these dream scenes here are ones that have already existed in the past. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these dream scenes, especially this one here, look. So now I'm just gonna go through some of the Ultimate Extras wallpapers. And I've also included a Windows Vienna Milestone free background, as you can see. This is the Milestone free background. And this is a slightly later Milestone background. As you can see, the colors change ever so slightly. Let me just show you that. As you can see, there's a slight change in the colors. And I'll show you the Ultimate Extras wallpapers, which is what you want to see. I've added some German wallpapers here that, you know, like the Windows 7 beta German backgrounds. I've included these. Let me just scroll down to them. Yep, I've included those, and I've also included the Japanese ones as well, which all look quite nice. And I've also included a Longhorn one as well, because that's right, I've also included a Longhorn theme. So th these are all just Windows of Vienna backgrounds. These are Ultimate Extras backgrounds here, and all that. I'm not going to show all of them because there's just so many. And also, I've also, yeah, these are all the old Ultimate Extras backgrounds as well. I thought it was a good idea to include those too. So yeah, that's the Ultimate Extras wallpapers. And also, I've included Scenic backgrounds as well. You know, like Windows Scenic, the theme I discontinued. I've ported those backgrounds over to the Ultimate Extras as well. So yeah, that's the Ultimate Extras. And now let's have a look at the themes. So here are the Ultimate Extras themes. Let me just get to the, yeah, Windows Scenic here, look. Like I said, Windows Scenic is going to be reborn as an Ultimate Extras theme, and I wasn't kidding. Here it is. This is the Windows Scenic theme, as you can see. Let's match it, because the reason I discontinued Windows Scenic is because most of you didn't really care about it, and also it's way too similar to Windows Vienna. As you can see, look, the colors literally match the Windows Vienna icons perfectly because it's literally that similar to Windows Vienna. So yeah, where was I? The themes. So yeah, that's the Windows Scenic theme. And let me just show you this Windows XP theme I found. It's not made by me, but it's made by someone on Deviant art, which I've credited. So here we are, look. Here's the Windows XP theme. This is the Aero version of it. So for those of you who don't like the Aero theme, all you have to do is just go here and select the basic theme, which I'm not gonna do just now, because I'll show you why in just a sec. The reason why I included that Windows XP background is because this look. That's why I included it. Because look, it only works when you have Aero applied, because Dream Scene doesn't work in basic, unfortunately. As you can see, look, Windows XP theme, more Vista-like, as you can see. So yeah, that's the Windows XP theme. I'm sure you guys know what it looks like in the basic theme. It literally just looks exactly like Windows XP, so I'm not going to show that. So what other themes have I got? Windows Longhorn. I found this Longhorn theme as well, look. And I, it, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, it looks all right. It looks a bit messy in some areas, but for a Longhorn, it's the best Longhorn theme I could find for Vista, or one of the best ones. So yeah, here's like a sort of like a Longhorn theme for Vista. It's the best one I could find. I, ha I have still yet to find a better one. And like I said, this is literally in beta, so it's not going to look perfect or anything. I'm going to find a better one. That's if I can find one. So yeah, that's the Longhorn theme. Let me just show you if I've added any, let me, let's just see if I've added any more themes. Well, for now I haven't added any more themes, that's it. So, we're going to go back to Windows Vienna for now. And another thing is I've added custom screensavers as well. So if I go over to screensavers, I've added this one. It's called Flux, which I quite like. It's quite a nice screensaver. As you can see, look, I think you guys will quite like this. And I've also, I'll save that one for last. I've added a smiley face one, which is the Windows 98, well, Windows, yeah, Windows 98 flying Windows screensaver. I found a way to modify this screensaver, which involves using a hex editor, so you can change the character values. You, you know these um, images right here, they're not actually images, they're actually text. 
so screensaver does is it take it it takes text values from the wingdings font and let me show you that real quick let me just get the character map up there we go so let me just find wingdings which should be right at the bottom here somewhere yep wingdings that's right and if i just show you the yeah this that's that's where it gets the windows 98 logo so what i've done here well let me just show you this real quick this retro phase aurora screensaver this is a longhorn screensaver that i found as you can see look this is literally a longhorn screensaver you can see it's literally a longhorn aurora so yep yeah, that's one of the screensavers i've added so yeah here's the flying windows vienna flag although this has already been done before sky over um i think windows xp delta edition found a way to modify this to use the windows xp flag and how this is done is that yep let me just go back to character map real quick oh didn't mean to do that the font is called marlet if i can find it there it is marlet as you can see it has the windows xp logo in it and that's where I, that's what i did there i found a, i found a tutorial on youtube called how to change the windows 98 flying windows screensaver and it's by a guy called, I forgot his name, but I'll, I'll show it to you just right now. It's a very good tutorial and it really helped me to find out how to do it. So yeah, so yeah, this screensaver here, the one I just showed, the flying Windows XP logo. Yeah, that's in Windows XP Delta Edition as well because Sky modified it as well, just like I did. So yeah, that's, well, that's about it really. That's the ultimate extras and an upcoming Windows Vienna update here which which fixes a few omissions which have been missed out in the final ISO and that's right guys I will not be updating the ISO anymore however I will be seeing if I can create update packages just like just like this one here and the ultimate extras so yeah thank you very much for watching it's been a pleasure making this video so let me just shut down this computer because I won't be using it anymore I mainly use this laptop just for making videos on operating systems and stuff. So yeah, that's it from me. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. And I'll see you guys in another video.